All right, gentlemen, I'm a little bit embarrassed by this, but yes, I do have a fake Rolex collection that I'll be talking about in today's video. All right, Jen, so I'm not going to make you wait. You ready to see those fake Rolexes? Here they are. And I wish I could say that I stopped there, but no, I also have a fake Patek, I have a fake Louis Vuitton, and I have a fake Breitling. You want to see them? I bet. I bet you do. Okay, here they are. Now this Rolex right here, this one is interesting because I don't think Rolex ever made a watch style like this. Does anyone know, did they make an open heart, something like this? I have never seen this. I couldn't find it on the internet. So what's the story? Why did I buy these watches? Well, back in 2007, when I started my first company, a tailored suit, I went to Hong Kong, went to Kowloon specifically, looking for tailors to partner with. And I'm going through this bazaar, exploring Hong Kong. It's really cool. And all of a sudden, someone comes up and says, hey, are you interested in, you know, luxury goods in a, in a Rolex and who's not. So I go into this room, it was a little bit shady and all of a sudden you look around and there's all these Rolexes, all these bags, all these high end gear and you know that they're going to try to take you for a ride. I felt pretty good. I was able to talk them down from I think like 150 or 200 bucks down to 50, you know, but I ended up buying these watches. Why? I At the time I thought, okay, you know, I'm getting into this industry. I've got to have a nice watch. I can't afford a Rolex, so I'm just going to do this. Guys, it was a mistake because I could, I can count on one hand how many times I've worn any of these watches. And the one I actually I did wear a few times was, uh, was the Patek. I just simply thought it was, you know, it was a nice looking watch until I broke the glass. But the thing is, is every time I wore that watch, I never felt good about it. I always thought if somebody recognized this for what it was, would they question me? Would I lie to them? And I never got stuck in that situation. But that that's the issue with counterfeits, with going with something that's not real, is you are never confident about it and you actually feel bad about yourself. This goes back to a 2011 study out of the Journal of Experimental Social Psychology and basically they found people that buy generics, people that buy counterfeits, their self-worth actually drops when they are using counterfeits, when they're using uh, jo you know things that just are generics. And guys, I have to agree with this study. I mean, I now own the real thing. I've got this beautiful date just right here. Absolutely love this watch. That is my go-to trust watch. I've got my Yacht Master right here. This beautiful as well. Uh, I absolutely love wearing this watch. Just, ooh, beautiful. And then my everyday wear, my uh, my Rolex Explorer. Let's see if that pops in there. Yep, right there. You know, when I wear these watches, I feel confident. I feel, I mean, they're authentic. Yes, I paid a pretty penny for them, but you know, it's, you get what you pay for, I think, in some of this stuff. Because uh, when you buy counterfeits, guess what? I wasted this money. I never wear these. And the only thing they're good for, I guess, is making a video talking about counterfeit watches. And guys, if you want to watch videos about my real Rolexes, I'm going to link to those videos down in the description. I both talk about my date just why I think it's the perfect dress watch. I talk about my Yacht Master, how I absolutely love this watch right here. I've had this one now for almost a year. Absolutely love it. And my everyday wear is my Explorer. Just a great, hearty, very tough, very, I mean, just a practical watch that looks great. Gentlemen, that's it. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Staring contest. Oh, yeah. Did I get you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Turn up that volume. Get a little bit louder. Get a little bit closer to the screen. I dare you. Do it. Yeah. Gotcha. I won. I, I'm sure I won. I at least beat 10% of you guys, right?